In this video, I will show you how to use FlexiLeos 2 and our other extensions to build your site pages. This is the index page and has been built with FlexiLeos 2. It has a Flexi CSS drop down menu on it and the jQuery Power Slider. And it also contains elements from FlexiLeos snippet sidebar. The products page has an exposed gallery on it and the same header and footer as the index page. Let's go back in Dreamweaver and create those pages. Create a new file and call it index.html, open it, then open the FlexiLeouts to editor. Make the main wrapper 100% white and split it in three rows, the header, the content and the footer. Make the header smaller, add an inner row in it. Split it into columns, the logo in the menu holder. In the first column, add an image that will be the logo. And let's add some elements within the footer area. I will add an inner row to it. Then center this row. Add a background color to it, then some elements from the snippet sidebar. I will add social buttons, a short description, and the copyright. Then start customizing them. I'm using the text tab in order to edit all the text elements in this area. Then replace some text. I will remove the elements that I don't need. Then make the content a little higher. And after all is done, save the page and close the editor. Within the menu holder area, insert the Flexi CSS menu. And from the Flexi CSS menus editor, I will edit the menu structure. Then start customizing it in Dreamweaver using the property inspector. I select the main menu buttons to edit them. Change the background image. The text. and the dimension of the main menu buttons.
go to submenu level 1 and bring the submenu buttons closer by changing the top offset. And then change the color, text and so on. After the CSS menu is ready, open the page in Flex Layouts 2 editor. And add some padding to the menu holder. Then save this page as a template. Make the content area editable, rename it. Then give a name to this template. And this is how the main structure of the site will look like. Go back in Dreamweaver, open the page within the Flex Layouts editor, and let's add some content to it. The first row will be the power slider holder. I change its background color. Into the second row I will add an inner row. Then center it. And then insert some elements from the snippet sidebar. And start styling them within the Flexi Layouts editor. And this is how the page will look. Save it, close the editor. And click within the slider area in order to insert the slider. And after that, start customizing it. I'll start by deleting the background image, then arranging the elements. Delete the unnecessary elements by clicking them and press the delete button from your keyboard. I select the iPad image and I will change it by choosing one from my computer. After saving the page, I'm back in Dreamweaver, and now let's see it in browser. Go back in Dreamweaver and create a product page. Open it, then open the layouts editor. Apply the template to it and let's start adding content to it. The first row will be the Expose Gallery holder. And below, in the second row, I will start adding some elements from the Flexi Layouts 2 snippet sidebar.
Back in Dreamweaver, select the gallery holder and then insert a jQuery exposed gallery in it. Choose a skin from the editor and make it wider. Then press the insert button. From the exposed gallery property inspector, center the gallery. Then start styling its elements and remove the ones that you don't need. After all is set, let's see how it looks like.